Hi, I'm Paula Sizik, here at South by Southwest with the IPG Media Lab. We're talking to Mark Schulze of Clover, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new products that Clover is bringing to the market. Sure, thank you. Um, so Clover is a point-of-sale platform. Uh, we have a suite of products that are hitting the market. The first is the, the Clover Station, which has been out for about a year. Uh, and soon we have Clover Mobile, which you see right here, which is designed to be uh, fully EMV support, as well as MagStripe, um, and allows for full mobility. Uh, we also have another product called uh, Clover Mini that's coming soon that will be a either a terminal or a full service point-of-sale. Now, I understand that there are changes coming in October, and merchants are going to have to switch over to a chip and pin system. Mm -hmm. How is Clover approaching this? And yep. How will this affect consumer behavior? Yep. Um, well, so it's chip and pin or chip and signature. Uh, in the U.S., starting in October, if a merchant does not accept an EMV, if a individual walks in with a counterfeit credit card, a fraudulent credit card, uh, today, uh, the merchant does not have to eat the expense. The card issuer eats that expense. Starting in October, if you don't accept the new standards, then any fraudulent cards that come in, the mer it's considered the merchant's problem. They actually have to absorb that loss. Uh, and it's estimated that there are 17 million terminals in the U.S. that need to be replaced uh, by October 15th of two th 2015 to avoid this shift. Uh, wh what's interesting about it as well is it will have a real consumer impact. Uh, people today are used to uh, swiping, right? It's really easy. And there have been a lot of interesting innovations over the last five years with e-wallets and, and uh, loyalty programs and, and, Apple and, and things like that. And a lot of them haven't gotten a lot of traction. And the reason they haven't gotten a lot of traction is because they're competing with something that is so convenient, the swipe. Starting in 2015, though, when you go to swipe, it'll go, bzz, please dip. And that will make people pause and go, oh, maybe I should try Apple Pay. Maybe I should try uh, Pay Pass, Tap and Pay. Maybe I should try this uh, e-wallet or loyalty program. So we're already seeing merchants of all sizes really rethink uh, how they handle customers and customer service. It's it's kind of an artifact that people stand behind counters. Uh, I think more and more you'll see people uh, out in front, people uh, greeting people when they come in. I mean, even in a hotel, there's no reason really that you should walk up to a desk. There's really no reason that someone couldn't check you in as soon as your as soon as your car pulls up. And so I think we'll see in the short term uh, uh, tremendous changes uh, around uh, mobility and around uh, multiple multiple acceptance types. And, and I think in the longer term future, uh, because there are these platforms and like the Clover app market, we'll see some really true innovation uh, that we can't even think of yet. So for more updates, check out IPGLab.com.